Hey guys, Jim here, and it's Jackin' time again. Wait, that doesn't sound right. This is Jack Wolf Knives time again. Yeah, I think that sounds a bit better. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the newest offering from Jack Wolf Knives, and that is going to be this, the Havelina. This one's a really interesting one because, you know, what got me into Jack Wolf Knives was really the Cyborg Jack, and the reason for that well, it didn't look like a traditional slip joint knife. It looks very aggressive. It looks very modern, maybe even a bit futuristic. It was wild. It was different. And this represents, well, <laughs> the exact opposite. This is a much more traditional look. Traditional shape. This is a sow belly. And it still excites me. The comfort in the hand makes this different than all of the other Jack Wolves that I currently own. Now, the, the way that I've always had these set up as my favorites, the Cyborg Jack was my favorite design. The Vampire Jack has been my favorite in the hand. It's a little bit larger, and the ergonomics are fantastic. And this, yeah, the Low Drag Jack has been my favorite cutter. It's been used for cutting more things than the other two, probably combined. It's a great slicey edge. This was also the first Jack Wolf knives in S90V. Well, now, let's get these out of the way. Now we've got this. It's a good size. It's super comfortable in the hand. And it, too, is S90V. So... Will this be the best of all possible worlds? Yeah, there's a distinct possibility it might be. I also happen to really, really love the Camel Carbon Brittany Blue covers that are on here. But before we get into all that, let's talk about something that I feel is very important for all of the Jack Wolf knives. However, I don't want to bore you with unboxing a knife. If you've already watched a few of my Jack Wolf videos, if you've watched a bunch of other Jack Wolf videos, you already know what to expect. But I do want to run through this very quickly for those that are new, because it really is a starter pack. The most important thing to me is the fact that you get the leather slip case so you don't feel like you have to buy another accessory just to start carrying your knife.
See, that wasn't too bad. I made it as quick as I possibly could. I, I was trying to be as considerate as I could be. Now, let's talk about the TLDW that I like to do. Too long, didn't watch. The pros on this knife, S90V, first thing out of the gate, S90V steel. It's going to give you a good, long amount of edge retention. It's going to require very little touch-up over its life. And don't forget, folks, strop, 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 strop. Strop before you remove material, resharpening any knife. You give this thing a couple quick strops whenever you're done using it, and you'll probably never have to resharpen it for a year or two. It's that important. Keep in mind, S90 is not the easiest to resharpen, but it does hold its edge a lot longer than many other common EDC steels. Another pro. Oh. The walk and talk on this, the pull strength, everything about the quote-unquote action of this knife feels fantastic. It really is, really is nice. It's a little less strong than my Vampire Jack and a little more strong than my Low Drag Jack. So each of these different knives, believe it or not, have their own personalities outside of their designs. Pretty cool. Another plus, the nail nick is very easy to get to. Some people prefer to just pinch and you have access there as well. You know, again, it's going to depend on the design. The Vampire Jack has less room to pinch whereas the Cyborg has a lot of room to pinch. And the low drag jack is really, that's kind of in between. Once you get used to it, you can pinch, but in the beginning, you're really going to be using the nail nick. So this one, again, is another one that kind of falls right in between. Another plus, look at the beauty of that Brittany Blue. I cannot get past how much I love this color. So yes, it is a Tiffany blue. They have wisely opted to use the word Brittany blue because you cannot use the word Tiffany because Tiffany and company will sue the pants off of anybody that infringes on their trademark. So the Brittany blue really is a Tiffany blue and it looks great. The, uh, the carbon fiber was finished well so that it's uh, nice and chatoyant means it dances in the light, and the uh, blue really, really pops. And uh, there are going to be a few different variations available. I will discuss those when we get to the specs. But I will say this, there is a dark matter green uh, fat carbon. I've never seen so much color put into a dark matter. As a matter of fact, my cyborg jack is a dark matter red. And if you look at it, this is how most dark matter is. It's almost all marbled carbon fiber with just little touches of color. Somehow or other, the dark matter green on these particular knives explode with green. I mean, there is a lot of green. Okay, another plus. It has to be absolutely the ergonomics. That sow belly frame curves right into your hand, however you're going to use it. It fits so wonderfully. I do wish it was a little bit larger. However, I will admit that it's a 3.78 inch handle. I do wish, honestly, it was just a, I mean, just a teeny tiny little bit larger because I have big hands, but it really is comfortable. That rounded spine to the frame really feels fantastic in the hand. I'm very, 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 very happy with how that feels. I know I'm, everybody's waiting for me to guillotine the end of one of my fingertips or something as I'm playing with these things. And uh, are there any other pros that I really want to get off my chest? I mean, general pro is it's a Jack Wolf Knives. I mean, for, for the money you're spending, you're getting so much more than you really should be expecting for the money. Now, cons. For me, it's just a personal thing. Um, I, I do prefer something that's a little bit less traditional just because I'm newer 
into the whole slip joint thing. Maybe as I grow into that hobby more and more and more, and uh, Ben is making sure that I am growing into it as, as much as humanly possible, I may come to appreciate these more classic patterns a little bit more. Looks-wise, you know, it's, it's not my favorite as far as the shape of the frame, but I love, obviously love the clip point blade with the deep hollow grind. That's one of the reasons I love my cyborg jack. And it feels so good in the hand that I really don't care. And the, the material, as I mentioned in the covers, is so gorgeous and finished so well that really it's a wonderful balance for me. So I can go a little traditional. I can work with that because it looks that good. Are there any other cons? No, not really. I mean, it's it's a Jack Wolf knife, uh, knives. It's there's really nothing that I can really pick and point out on any of their knives that I dislike. There's really nothing. Okay, so now let's get to the specs. Lay that bad boy right over there. I'm going to push this all the way over in the corner because I have a lot of text that has to pop up on the screen. Very quickly, uh, the Havelina Jack is a sow belly pattern. This particular variation is the Camel Carbon in Brittany Blue. There is also Camel Carbon Blaze Orange, Fat Carbon Purple Haze, another, really all these are gorgeous, really great patterns. Fat Carbon Dark Matter Green, which as I mentioned before, has a, a lot of green in it. And then of course, there's the Natural Canvas Micarta. If you're a Micarta fan, you're going to love their Micartas. I, 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 there's very few materials I dislike as much as Micarta, the way it feels and the way it looks. It's just not me. Nothing wrong with it, and they sell very well. A lot of people love Micarta, so it's just a personal thing. So if you go with Micarta, you're spending $275. You go with any of the carbon fibers, you're spending $300. And that's a pretty easy price formula to remember. If it's Micarta, it's always $275. If it's uh, carbon fiber, it's always $300. And that's with the upgrade in the steel over these last two knives. Realize he has not raised the price going from M390 to S90V. I really dig that. Okay, so uh, again, the, it's an integral bolster design. Uh, in integral with the liners. I don't want to think, make me think that it's a, an integral knife. It is not. You still have the back spring, obviously. It's two uh, separate titanium slabs, but the bolsters are integral to the liners. Uh, what else we have here? 6AL4V B-Blasted Titanium. Another reason that I absolutely love these knives. They're titanium. They're not brass. They're not you know, it's steel, well, God forbid, or any of the other traditional kind of uh, materials. As I mentioned before, S90V steel, very high edge retention, very good wear resistance, good stainless uh, properties. Uh, it's it's going to be very difficult to rust or corrode it. Uh, not the easiest to resharpen. However, it will hold that edge for so long that I, nobody really ever, has, I've never heard a complaint about S90V. Close length, 3.78 inches. Blade length, 2.83 inches. Cutting edge is 2.6 inches. Remember, you have a very large sharpening notch here. So the, blade, the cutting edge is a little bit shorter than the blade length. The blade stock is 120 thousandths thick. And the weight is only 2.3 ounces. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. All right. Sal belly, what does it mean? I had to look it up. I'll be honest with you. Uh, again, I'm a modern tactical folder kind of guy, not a traditional knife guy in any way. Uh, it is described as a heavy duty cattleman stockman style knife with a rounded shape frame resembling the shape of a sow's belly. Sow is an adult female pig. So there it is. That's, that's all there is to it. Now, my personal thoughts. Um, is this something that I think somebody that's just getting into slip joints is really going to appreciate a lot? I think so. Yes, I still think the Vampire may be a little bit better to introduce someone going from very modern knives for the first time ever into a slip joint. Just because of the way it feels, the way it looks, it's more aggressive nature in its overall shape. But this one has that aggressive clip point styling. And it looks really, really good. 
And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care who you are. When you put this in your hand, you're going to be like, oh, oh, oh my. Yeah. It's like a party in your hand. So I'm definitely digging it all the way around. Um, I love the very, very deep hollow grind that you see on here. Let's close up on that. Oh, oh, oh God, look at that. And it gets slicey, slicey thin. So slicey thin. And there is that clip point swedge all the way down to the tip. Very nicely done. They've put a fantastic edge on this. As mentioned in previous videos, but in case you haven't seen those videos, Ben does not disclose the OEM for these. These are made in China, and he's perfectly open and transparent about that. But he does not share the OEM information because he does not want to, honestly, he doesn't want to share his manufacturing. Because right now, he's still offering Jack Wolf Designs on monthly drops. And if people were to realize who exactly makes these because they're doing such a fantastic job and they start taking on a bunch of additional customers, well, he may not be able to get his orders in and out quick enough where he can do monthly drops. He may have to start doing every couple of months, every three or four months, uh, or doing pre-orders or something. And right now he's got the perfect system. There are no pre-orders. Everything is live inventory. He announces the drop just uh, about a week prior to the drop, and you don't know what it's going to be. It's, it's a complete mystery until he says, okay, here's the drop date. Oh, and here's the knife and the variations. So it's always a wonderful surprise. This is way, way better than any anything of the month club that you could be involved in because you know it's going to be super high quality. You know it's going to be beautiful, and quite honestly... You're, you're already amped up. Once you get this month's knife, you're already amped up for next month's knife. And I've only been doing this for about a month, being involved in this whole slip joint thing. And I'm already on my fourth one. I cannot wait to see those announcements. I can't wait to see. I, I just got this a few days ago. And I'm already chomping at the bit to see what's going to be next. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, I think uh, overall, this is going to end up being one that gets carried quite a bit. My most carried is my Vampire. Second to that is my Cyborg. And uh, while I do keep them all together in the same place, this is the knife that I actually reach for and open up a bunch of packages with, my low-drag jack. Open up packages, open up anything that needs to get cut around the house. I end up using this one. I don't know why. Probably because it's S90V. And because that huge belly, it just slices through everything. And these are the ones that I tend to carry more often. And I think this one is going to make it into that carry rotation because of that comfort. And honestly, it feels, it may not be, and maybe I'll look up the specs and type them on the screen. It feels lighter than the Vampire Jack and about the same as the Cyborg Jack. So there's something about it. It's lightweight. It's comfortable in the hand. It's easy to use. It's, I love the aggressive style on the blade and that sound. Listen to this. Oh, yeah. Truly, truly awesome. All right, I'm going to get out of here for now. Thank you guys for joining me as always. I'm going to be knocking out a few more videos. Uh, I'm getting ready to take a little bit of a hiatus, forced a hiatus. Um, I have to have a uh, surgery done on the 15th, and it's going to it's gonna keep me from being able to get out of bed for a few days and keep me from really being able to do much of anything for a few weeks. So, But as quickly as I can get back to making videos, I certainly will. But in the meantime, between now and then, I'm going to try and pump out a few more just to satisfy you, because I love you guys. Big bear hugs. I'll see you guys on the next video.